Hello everyone. This week we'll be talking about feminist pedagogy. For this vlog, I again used the nurses on our unit, which included two nurses who were less than one year experience, three with more than five, and two with more than one but less than five. Also included in this group would be the charge nurse. We talked about an issue we are having on our unit with staffing. At this point, we are not at full capacity because we have don't have enough staff. The problem that we are discussing is the fact that we have to do a schedule based on staffing a complete unit. The nurses have all complained about having to do a schedule and then going to have that schedule changed. We wanted everyone's opinion on what we could do about this problem. I wanted to make sure that everyone's voice was heard. So I arranged a meeting with the representative of our floor that goes to the shared governance meetings. We had a roundtable discussion about what we could possibly do, and I encouraged each one to express their thoughts and opinions. If I felt that one nurse was putting out more of an opinion than anyone else, we would then ask each other to say something, like if the younger nurse, the less experienced nurse, would just be quiet. I, I would directly ask her what her opinion was. I said, don't be afraid. These are your co-workers. Your opinion matters. And just per, uh, try to encourage her to express herself and her opinion about what was going on. As the newest nurse on the unit, they felt that they didn't have an opinion. They Their opinion didn't matter. And I was trying to give them the impression or just trying to encourage them and let them know that their opinion did matter. They were part of this unit. They were just not, this unit wasn't just made up of the ones who had been here for more than five years. We are all a team and we all needed to express our thoughts and feelings about this problem that we were having in order to find a solution. We did have someone taking notes about these thoughts and feelings these girls were having. We tried to explain why they were part of the group, why their opinion mattered, and how we couldn't have a change if they didn't participate and didn't express their thoughts and feelings. My impression of the feminist pedagogy is one that will work very well with small groups such as this. I felt that every voice was able to be heard, their opinions, their thoughts, and the reasoning behind why they thought or felt as they did. I felt that we worked together as a team. Everybody was able to not just be the leader, but also the participant. I feel that as a unit, working together with our thoughts and feelings expressed, not only individually, but together, it made for a better, hopefully anyway, a better outcome and a resolution to the problem we are having. We are awaiting the meeting with shared governance to see if there's anything that we could change, if anything will be changed.